guess the rest you got in GoPro anyway. It's saving 400 bucks, whatever. Kind of stuff. There we go. Fifth Pentacle of Venus, which I engraved. I didn't time this. It didn't take that long, though. Not that that's, you know, if it was a one for customer or a special one or one that wasn't just a quick put it together for a video, I would have taken about twice as long. But still, that's not that long. And it comes out pretty decent. So, you can engrave one, and since I rushed, you could get one looking about this good. And the reason I say that is I have, as I said earlier, made quite a few of these. I made, you know, 50 or 100 of this design alone. It is sort of the most popular design. So I guess you'll all fall in love with my website now, right? Or my talismans, that'll be good. Anyway, that's why it's the most popular. Um, so now your homework is to get some scrap metal. You can go to um, the scrapyard and get some. And this is just practice metal because the scrapyard metal is really dirty and takes forever to clean up. It is so not worth it. But you can get some from there and just practice on it until your lettering is good. Until you can do the Hebrew lettering. And just until you're used to the Dremel or whatever you're using. If you want to get all fancy, get a Fordham. Those things are awesome. They engrave much deeper and much better and turn out nicer. And you can do more things with them. You can engrave gemstones and stuff like that with them. But, you know, you can just get a cheap Fordham from the hardware store. I mean, cheap Dremel from the hardware store. And I'm sure there's there's got to be no-name brand Dremels by now. See, I, this exact Dremel that you see here, I got that would have been... 15 years ago, 15 or 20 years ago, that long, it still works fine. Obviously, you buy new bits as you need them, but it's lasted that long. I'm sure in this day and age, though, there you can get no name brand versions for half the price. So you can make your own talismans now. Get to it. It works. They work extremely well to hand engrave them during the day and hour, in this case of Venus. That would be during sunrise, run sunrise, or just after sunset, or during the hour in the middle of the day. If you look up the planetary hours, I should do a video ranting about how all the planetary hour calculators online are dead wrong, except one of them or two of them. So get to that. So and so after you've practiced on your scrap metal, and go out and get a nice disc. I sell these nice discs on my website, the blank ones. For $9.99 each. So you can buy them there. Copper's gone up in price, unfortunately. Or you can make your own if you want. Though to get the um, nice perfect, perfect version, I recommend my website. And then you can engrave in them. Draw it beforehand and engrave. Decide which talisman you want and go for it. And this is going to be way, 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 way stronger than paper. And for those of you that print these things out, you just stop that. Just stop that and make them and engrave them. How long did that take? 
you know, if you want to, even a rush job, this rush job, this one that I just made, rush, it took me, what, five minutes? Um, that's better than a printout. So, you know, if you want to rush, you just do a quick rush job. Okay, it's not perfect, whatever. Still better than a printout. Freaking anything's better than a printout. Pencil and a piece of paper is better than a printout. So get on it, try it out, and you'll find that these, these things work really well. And you'll find that they work well enough that you'll want to make some more. I recommend trying a few of them out. Now, of course, I also sell the fancy raised versions, Lost Wax cast raised raise versions on my website. I should have one here to show you, but no, I didn't plan ahead for that. But you can get those if you want the fancy version. They're 200 bucks though. And I also offer my hand engraved versions looking better than this. This is just, you know, a quick rust job. And those are, I don't remember the price. I'll put them on sale, $99.99, since I have a bunch of discs on hand right here. So there you go, that's how you make your own. And this is from the Greater Key of Solomon. This, this version is from the Mathers version. The Peterson version is better, but most people prefer the Math um, Mathers version because they sort of look fancier. So I usually do the Mathers version unless people ask for the, the manuscript that um, Joseph Peterson has used then I will gladly do those, because those are pretty awesome. Both work. Um, what you could do is you could do a little experiment and do both. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Not sure where my 2-inch disc got off to, but this is a 3-inch disc. So that's your homework. Make some, and hey, why don't you post it? You can post this below my video. Or my poster, wherever you saw this, post it below. I want to see them, even if it looks like crap. Even if it looks a thousand times better than mine. That would be awesome. Just post them so I can check them out. Anyway, enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and share and all that stuff. And subscribe and all those things. And check the video on YouTube. And I'll be putting more how-to videos out. I'm thinking of some painting ones. Triangle painting, circle painting, whatever. I'm thinking of doing a few different ones for you to enjoy so people can just so you can start making your own tools and just get to work. You know, once you make something like a talisman, that sort of gets you in the motion of getting to do some magic work. Because then after you want to use a talisman, you want to consecrate the talisman and so on and so forth. And that just gets you moving. It's a little project you can try out. More people need to get work in this stuff. Anyway, hope you enjoyed www.enokian.org is my site if you want to read more and check out more. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and share.